To write the chemical formula for potassium phosphide, we go to the periodic table and we see that potassium has the element symbol of K. We look up phosphorus, that symbol is P. And now we need to balance our charges. Potassium is a metal, phosphorus, that's a nonmetal. So with a metal and a nonmetal, we have an ionic compound, charges matter. We look on the periodic table, potassium is in group one, it has a plus one charge, then phosphorus, it has a minus three charge. So the charges don't balance. What we want to have is a net charge of zero. So to do that, we can change the subscripts. If I put a three here for the potassium, three times plus one, that gives me plus three, and that'll cancel out the minus three. That'll give me a net charge of zero, and that makes this the correct formula for potassium phosphide. We can quickly check our work though using the crisscross method. To do that, we'll take the three here and move it down to the subscript, and then take the one here and move that to the subscript for phosphorus. Of course, we don't write one, so we can get rid of that, and we can get rid of the charges as well. And we have K3P as the formula for potassium phosphide. Same thing as we got before. This is Dr. B with the chemical formula for potassium phosphide, K3P, and thanks for watching.